Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to show you how to do some mathematical problems where you have to differentiate the natural log function uh, multiplied by some other function. So let's give you guys an example. So we want to differentiate this function y equals 4x cubed times ln x. Now before we do this, let's just type it into GeoGebra and see what the answer is. So the graph is y equals 4x cubed times, times ln x. Okay, so there is our line and um, what we want to do is we want to try and differentiate this line so you can see that the line has a minimum point at x equals about 0 0.7 so if we differentiate it um, the derivative should have a y value of 0 at this point because the gradient at the minimum is 0 so let's differentiate it um, derivative of f And this looks right because you can see at this point here, okay, where the maximum point is. Let's see if we can get that point up. So let's click on tools. Um, you can see some of the image hasn't loaded yet because I'm using a web version. But if you go to points and you select the point at the maximum, you can see that point A is at about 0 0.73 and if you select the point where it touches the x-axis okay and you can see B is also at about the same point now you can probably drag it left and right to try and get to the right um, to get them to match up but it's pretty obvious that the x-coordinate of the minimum is the same as the x coordinate of the derivative. I'm just going to try and match it up better. So, yep, you can see that they match. Okay, so this is the answer for the derivative y dash equals 12x squared ln x plus 4x squared. So, let's talk about how to do that on the exam because you're probably not going to have GeoGebra. <laughs> in the exam otherwise uh, it'll be too easy so let's try and differentiate this so let's go y equals f times g right that's what the product rule is this formula is um, basically a product of two functions we got the function 4x cubed where there's a variable x and we got another function ln x and it's the product of these two functions so let f be 4x cubed and if we want to differentiate that f dash how do we differentiate this let's move the 3 to the front so 3 times 4x let's minus 1 from the original power so 3 minus 1 so that's 12x squared and let's do the same thing to the g function ln x how do we differentiate that well if you guys remember that differentiates into 1 over x okay so now let's try and put that back into the product rule so we have y dash equals f times g dash plus g times f dash that's the product rule so let's try and put all that in fx cubed times 1 over x plus ln x times 12x squared okay um, so that's times as well the little dot okay so now how do I simplify this well 4x cubed times 1 over x um, the x cubed and the x at the bottom you can simplify that into 4x squared plus 12x squared ln x 
Now you can simplify that further because you can see there is an x squared in both of these functions. So let's take out the x squared, let's take out the 4. So then it becomes 4x squared bracket 1 plus 3ln x. Okay, and let's try and mash that up with what we have for x squared um, in GeoGebra. Uh, 12x squared ln x plus. So that's basically the same, right? They didn't factorize it like we have. It's actually good practice to factorize things. Okay, so that is our answer. Um, let's try and do another question. Okay, we want to differentiate y equals e to the power of minus 4x times ln bracket 5x. Okay, so I want you guys to have a go and come back for the solution when you are done. Okay, so as always, let's try and get the solution in GeoGebra first so we know that we are doing things correctly. Um, let's just go to a new one. And let's get rid of the calculator thing on the bottom. Okay, so let's type this in. Y equals e to the power of negative 4x. So in case you're also typing it in, to the power of is just shift 6 on your keyboard. Okay, and then once you typed it in, you want to press the right key to bring it back down. LN, uh, sorry, times LN bracket 5x. Okay, there is our flat graph. You probably have to zoom in a bit to see what's going on. Okay, so now we want to differentiate it, so just type D-E-R-I derivative, press enter, and now let's differentiate the F function, and you can see that it has come up with the red line, and if you go to where the maximum point is on the blue line, it's where the red line touches the x-axis. So that proves that it's a derivative of the original function. Okay, so this is the solution we're trying to get. Looks a bit complicated. Let's see if we can do it. So again, let's use the product rule. Y equals F times G. F equals E negative 4X. F dash. So when you differentiate exponential functions, it's basically the same thing, except you have to differentiate the power and multiply it at the front. So what's negative 4x differentiate into differentiates in a negative 4. So multiply by that at the front. Okay, now you have g equals ln 5x g dash equals so you're going to turn the ln function into 1 over um, the same thing in the bracket and you're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside which is 5 so the whole thing becomes 5 over 5x, which is just 1 over x again, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. So let's put everything inside the product rule formula. f times g dash plus g times f dash. So f is e to the power of negative 4x. Uh, g dash is 1 over x plus g is ln 5x and f dash is negative 4 times e negative 4x there's a lot of stuff there but hopefully we can simplify it so it's e to the power of negative 4x over x plus <clears throat> negative 4 um, e to the power of negative 4x times ln x down in 5x and for simplicity normally you would move actually let's just take out the common factors so let's take out e to the power of negative 4x uh, bracket 1 over x plus negative 4 
ln 5x. So we take out all the common factors. So you can see 1 over x and negative 4 ln 5x, they have nothing in common. So let's move the negative 4x to the bottom of the fraction because normally we want to keep the powers positive. And then 1 over x plus, uh, let's just do negative, minus 4 ln 5x. So that is my final answer. Let's see it in GeoGebra again, see if they match. I've already forgotten what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this one. Now, the format is a little bit different, but in order to check that these two are the same thing, you can simply just type what you differentiated. So let's type in y equals 1 over e to the power of 4x. All right, press the right key times 1 over x right key minus 4 ln 5x and you can see does this line so press enter at the end do those two lines come up with the same line so this let's get rid of the blue line so these two lines are the exact same line All right exact same line so that's why both equations are correct so again this is a correct solution. Okay, thank you for watching guys. See you next time.